and welcome to Alpha Omega training videos. In this video, we are going to simulate the pouring bottle of water using ANSYS Fluent software. After that, we will extract some graphical results uh, relevant to different parameters available in the solution. Stay with us. Okay, to start the simulation, open your ANSYS Fluent software from the start menu bar. And after that, the Fluent Launcher window will be opened for you. Alright, to read your uh, case and data files, you can hit the read. And here I select the case and data. In the location of my files, I select the case file and open. Okay, my file will be um, available in the recent files tab. After that, we have the dimension, which shows that uh, my project is a 2D, two-dimensional project. And all, uh, under the solver option, we have the double precision. This option in ANSYS Fluent is a computational setting that allows for more accurate numerical calculations. This option uses 64 bits to represent numbers compared to the 32 bits used in the single precision. The double precision effectively doubles the number of significant figures in the calculations, leading to more accurate results. Also, in front of the solver processes under the par parallel, we have the number of cores and this is a feature that allows you to control the number of processes used for the solver the number of my uh, cores in uh, my hardware is 12 so i want to use all of them after that hit the start and the ansys fluent software will be opened in a minute After the ANSYS Fluent software is um, loaded, you can hit the display option, display mesh, and here you can select your desired boundary conditions, and after hitting the display, your geometry will be displayed. Here I disable the interior air, and that's it. This is the glass, and this is the a bottle and this is the water inside it Okay, here are the boundary conditions. Here I disable the air and close. Also, by zooming in, you can see the surface elements of the project. Okay, first to check your uh, mesh file, you can hit the check button, and here you can see the word done. In the console and also make sure that the minimum volume of your elements is not a negative value after that we can report the quality of the elements by hitting the report quality option and here you can see the minimum orthogonal quality value and also the maximum aspect ratio the aspect ratio refers to the ratio of the longest edge to the shortest edge in a cell. It's an important metric for mesh quality. Fluent can handle high aspect ratio cells, but for better accuracy, it's recommended to keep it below 100. Also, the uh, orthogonal quality uh, is a measure of the cell's deviation from a perfect shape. The range is 0 to 1, where 1 represents a perfect cell, lower values indicate poor quality, potentially leading to inaccurate results. It's crucial to maintain high orthogonal quality, preferably above 0 0.1. 
Okay. After that, you can see the solver options. The solver type which is selected for this project is pressure type, pressure based. The pressure based solver is primarily used for incompressible and mildly compressible flows uh, like our project. The solver uses a pressure correction method to solve the Navier Stokes equations. The steps involved include guessing the pressure field, solving the momentum equations to obtain a velocity field, and then correcting the pressure field based on the divergence of the velocity field. The process is then iterated until a converged solution is found. This solver is efficient and suitable for a wide variety of flow problems. The velocity formulation is absolute, the 2D space is not axisymmetric or axisymmetric swirl, it's planar. And in case of time, it's transient. We will uh, and take uh, into account the time. And also the gravity is in the y direction with the value of minus 9.81. Okay, now let's dive into the fascinating world of ANSYS Fluent models. ANSYS Fluent is a powerful tool for computational fluid dynamics modeling. It offers a wide range of models to simulate different aspects of fluid dynamic problems. For instance, its turbulence models are designed to capture uh, the a chaotic motion of fluids. Multiphase models, on the other hand, enable you to simulate scenarios where different phases of matter interact. If you're dealing with thermal analysis, Fluent offers heat transfer models, and if you need to simulate combustion, Fluent's combustion models are at your service. Finally, Fluent's specious transport model enables you to simulate scenarios where uh, different chemical species are transported by the fluid. fluid. Um, all in one, Fluent's models are designed to help you simulate complex fluid dynamics problems with ease and accuracy. Here, in the task page tab, you can see a bunch of models available for you. Alright, in case of this project, we have used the multi-phase model. By double clicking on it, I can open it and the multi-phase model window will be opened. Between the models, volume of fluid, mixture, wet steam and Eulerian the Eulerian model is selected. The Eulerian model uh, is a powerful tool for simulating multiphase flows. It allows for the simulation flows of multiple fluids, each of which is considered a separate phase with its own velocity and temperature fields. This model is capable of handling interface interactions such as mass, momentum, and heat transfer, making it ideal for complex multiphase flow simulations. It's particularly useful in industries where interactions between different fluid phases are crucial, such as oil and gas, chemical processing, and power generation. The Eulerian model can uh, also handle uh, phase change uh, such as boiling and condensation and gra granular flows which are common in the processing of powders and granular materials. Okay, for the options, here we have the hybrid models. Under that, under this option, we have the multi-fluid VOF model. The multi-fluid VOF or volume of fluid model in ANSYS Fluent is a, a tool for simulating multi-phase flows. It's based on the Eulerian model, which treats each phase as a separate fluid with its own velocity field. This model tracks the volume fraction of each fluid throughout the domain, allowing for accurate simulation of interface behavior between fluids. Here we have the volume fraction parameters formulation, explicit and implicit. The volume fraction parameters can be set using either implicit or explicit. The implicit method solves the equations for all variables simultaneously, which makes it more stable and capable of handling larger time steps, but it requires more computational 
resources. On the other hand, the explicit method solves the equations for each variable uh, sequentially, which is less stable and requires smaller time steps, but it uses less computational resources. Here you can see the number of Eulerian phases, which is two. The one, one of them is air and the second phase is water liquid. Here we have uh, interface modeling options, sharp, sharp dispersed and disperse, which the sharp option is selected. This option is a numerical method that allows for more accurate representation of the interface between two or more immiscible fluids. This option enhances the accuracy of capturing the interface between phases by employing a geometric uh, reconstruction scheme. It is particularly beneficial for problems where the interface between the phases is of prime importance. The sharp interface model can also account for phase change, making it useful for applications involving boiling and condensation. So, it will help us in this simulation. After that, in the next step, we have the phases. In this tab, you can see the different phases and their names. Okay, the first phase is named air. And the phase material is air. The next phase is water. The phase material is water liquid. Here you can enable the granular or interfacial area concentration. And also under the diameter you can enter the uh, diameter of uh, second phase. Second phase particles. In the next step we have the phase interaction leave the options in this tab by default there's no heat mass and reactions mechanism and in the interfacial area we have the uh, air to water and the interfacial area which is selected as IA symmetric the IA-symmetric interfacial area model in ANSYS Fluent is a part of the Eulerian multiphase model. It provides a more detailed description of the interfacial area between phases by accounting for its asymmetry. This model is particularly useful in simulating complex multiphase flows where the interfacial area plays a critical role, uh, such as our project. It enhances the accuracy of the predictions by considering the uh, distribution of the interfacial area instead of assuming a fixed value. This model is highly beneficial in predicting mass, momentum, and energy uh, transfer rates between phases in multiphase flow simulations. Okay, after that, hit the apply and close it. The other model which we use in this simulation is the viscose model. Here, by selecting the viscose, you can see a different bunch of, a various bunch of uh, options for the turbulence models. For this solution, we have selected the two equation model, K epsilon standard wall function model. The standard K epsilon model in ANSYS Fluent is a popular turbulence model used for a wide range of computational fluid dynamics applications. It's a two equation model that provides a general description of turbulence by means of two transport equations, the turbulent kinetic energy K and its dissipation rate epsilon. This model is renowned for its robustness and economy regarding computational resources making it suitable for a variety of industrial applications. After the models, we have the materials section. Here by double clicking on it you can see that we have fluid and solid materials available. The materials section is like a wizard's spellbook brimming with potential. It's a treasure trough where you can define and manage the physical and chemical properties of materials in your simulation. 
With it, you can create, modify, and delete materials, and also define the properties of fluids, solids, and mixtures. Here, the water, liquid, and air are defined for the fluid. By double clicking on the water liquid, you can see the properties related to this material, which the first one is density and second one is viscosity. Also, by clicking on the fluent database, you will have access to a various options available in the library of the ANSYS Fluent software for both fluids and solids. Alright, after that, I close it and the next section is cell zone conditions. Here in the cell zone conditions, we will assign the materials that we have defined to the different zones. Here we have two zones, which the first one is air and the second one is the water zone. Here I open the air the phase is defined as mixture leave the options by default and also for the water the options are the same the next step is boundary conditions here i double click on it and here you can see the uh, different boundary conditions based on their type okay here we have three internal boundary conditions which there's no option to modify them after that we have the outer boundary condition the boundary here the red boundary I open it and here you can the different options uh, just make sure that the gauge pressure is set to zero pascal for this boundary here they are uh, there are the turbulence related options and here we can change the phase from mixture to air which there is an option and also water which you can um, change the backflow volume fraction if um, uh, there would be a backflow inside of our domain it would be just air and the volume fraction of backflow for the water liquid is zero Okay, as you can see, uh, there is no inlet boundary condition in this project and the uh, water will be moved based on the gravity effect. In case of wall boundary conditions, we have uh, wall air and wall water. Here I open the wall air. The wall motion is set to stationary. The roughness models are standard. If you change the phase to air, you can see that the shear condition for the air is set to no slip, and also for the liquid, uh, water liquid, the option is the same. For the wall water, the options are similar. Okay, uh, um, the setup section is done and in the next section we will uh, delve into the solution section. Okay, here we are in the solution section. Double click on the methods and the different options uh, relative, uh, uh, relative to uh, methods option for solving the solution will be available in the task page okay first is the pressure velocity coupling scheme which for this the phase coupled simple is selected 
The phrase coupled simple or semi-implicit method for pressure linked equations scheme is a pressure velocity coupling algorithm. It's used in Eulerian models for multiphase flows. The scheme iterates between solving the momentum and pressure correction equations until convergence is achieved. A significant feature of this scheme is the phase coupling of pressure field across multiphase phases, which leads to improved stability and convergence. It's particularly useful for problems involving large density ratios between phases and complex interfacial interactions. It's an advanced robust method for solving multiphase flow problems. In case of special discretizations, we have the least square cell based for the gradient. This option uh, is used to calculate gradient vectors for scalar quantities in the flow field. The method works by minimizing the sum of the squared differences between the values of the scalar quantity at the cell centers and the values predicted by the linear approximation of the scalar quantity over the entire cell. This method offers a higher level of accuracy compared to other methods like the Gringaus cell-based method, especially for unstructured and non-orthogonal meshes. However, it may require more computational resources due to its complexity. Next, we have the Presto discretization method for pressure. The Presto or pressure staggering option method is a pressure interpolation scheme that is often used for flow problems where the pressure field is particular interest. The method provides a more accurate representation of the pressure field compared to other methods such as the simple or piezo methods. Presto is especially useful for simulations involving high swirling flows, compressible flows, and flows with large pressure gradients. It uses a staggered pressure discretization approach to maintain continu uh, continuity and um, to avoid the checker uh, checkerboard pressure patterns that can occur with uh, uh, collocated grids. Next, we have the momentum volume fraction, turbulent, uh, kinetic energy, and dissipation rate. Then, uh, respectively, the first order, georeconstruct, second order, and second order upwind are selected. For the volume fraction, the georeconstruct is selected. Let's, let's talk about it. This option uh, is a special discretization method for the volume fraction of secondary phases. It's designed to improve the accuracy of interface tracking um, by using geometric uh, reconstruction of the volume of fluid field. Uh, it provides a sharper and more accurate representation of the phase interaction compared to standard often schemes, especially in complex geometries and unstructured meshes. This option is particularly applicable to uh, free surface flows, such as uh, uh, stratified flows or flows where phase distribution is important okay uh, in case of the first uh, second quick or third order discretizations available in momentum turbulent kinetic energy and dissipation rate uh, the first order of wind method is the simplest and most robust discretization scheme, but it has a high numerical diffusion which uh, can lead to inaccurate results. The second order of wind, uh, on the other hand, uh, improves upon the first order by using information from two grid points regarding uh, reducing uh, numerical diffusion and improving accuracy. Also, the transient uh, formulation is first order implicit. After solution methods, we have the controls. Here, you can uh, change your under relaxation factors. The URF is a numerical technique used to control the convergence of the solution in iterative methods. It's a factor by which the computed change of a variable is scaled down to avoid potential divergence or oscillations in the solution process. 
The range of under relaxation factors in encephalon generally varies between 0 and 1. A value close to 0 means that the solution will converge slowly, while a value close to 1 means that the solution will converge faster, but it may lead to instability if the value is too high. Okay, next we have the report definitions. Users can create various types of reports such as uh, surface reports, volume reports, force reports, flux, and uh, mesh reports. These reports can contain information about the flow field like pressure, velocity, temperature, and more um, over the desired boundary of your solution. The next section is monitors. If you open the monitors, you can see the first option, which is residuals. In ANSYS Fluent, residuals represent the imbalance in the solved equations and are used to assess the convergence of the solution. When the solution is perfectly converged, residuals would theoretically be zero. However, in practice, the numerical errors and approxima uh, approximations, residuals tend to reach a small value and then level off. Here you can see the absolute criteria of each of the equations. We want them to be monitored and check their convergence. Here make sure that the plot and print to console options are enabled. Okay, before going to the run calculation section, we have the initialization. Initialization defines initial conditions for the computational domain setting the starting point for the calculation. Standard uh, initialization sets uniform conditions where hybrid initialization uses potential flows, uh, flow solutions to initialize the flow field, useful when the initial state is not valid. For this project, the initialization method will be standard. We will put the air all over the domain and the water uh, volume fraction will be zero. But in the initial condition, we want to put water in this zone. So to do that, we go to patch. Here I change the phase from mixture to water, the volume fraction is 1 in the water uh, zone okay after that if you a patch the water will be put here uh, in the bottle before going to the run calculation section here in the calculation activities we can set uh, the and a number of time steps which we want to autosave every. Okay, here uh, you can see that in the run calculation sector, uh, section, uh, the total number of time steps is 1000, and this is the uh, uh, time step size. So, for the 1000 time step, we can set the 100 time step, and we will have. 10 um, uh, case and data for different times from 0 to 1000 okay in the run calculation after putting these values and the max iterations per time step which is true uh, which is 20 and is by default if you hit the calculate the solution will start to solve After the solution is uh, converged and uh, stopped, uh, here you can see the residuals related to each of the equations separated by their color. So now to extract the graphical results, here under the results we have the surfaces to define in points, lines and planes. Here under graphics, we have the contours. Okay, here I open my 
the font contour save display here you can see the contour of uh, volume fraction of water this is the last time step which you can see the way uh, water is pouring from the bottle into the glass you can change the phase for example to air it'll just uh, change the color of water and air the next parameters could be uh, phase interactions uh, or the pressure this is the static pressure in the glass Or turbulent relevant uh, parameters uh, such as turbulent kinetic energy and turbulent intensity. Also, we have the velocity, velocity magnitude is the velocity of air and water inside the domain. Okay, right now you just have the last time step uh, results available. But if you have defined the calculation activities uh, to 100, you will have the case and data for uh, 10 time steps. So here I have extracted uh, some results from different time steps and I want to show you different parameters during this time. First, the eddy viscosity. The next is pressure. Velocity and the last one and the most important one the volume fraction as you can see that is simulated in a great way all right to tell you uh, to save the picture from your graphical view window you can hit the save picture option here you can set your select your format color and type uh, and the resolution of your uh, picture which you have a variety of different options okay the solution is uh, solved uh, uh, completely from uh, the setup solution and extracting the graphical views i hope that you have enjoyed this simulation